Hey guys, what's going on? Back with another Zombies video. Earlier today, PlayStation accidentally leaked a new mode that's coming to Call of Duty Cold War Zombies. And it's going to be called Onslaught, it looks like. And basically, it is a um, Zombies mode that's going to be taking place in the multiplayer maps. And this video kind of sh is going to serve a purpose as to show you where you can kind of demo the prototype, I guess that you can call it. Uh, where I guess the idea for this new mode came about. Uh, first things first, I hope I'm hoping uh, Activision Call of Duty doesn't mind me showing the trailer. I guess technically it's called the leak trailer now. Um, but I was a big advocate to have this mode uh, brought into uh, the actual game. I kind of pretty much begged them to do it because I played it. I played the prototype and the demo, like I said, and it's it's really good. It's really fun. It, it was kind of short. But uh, I'll show you the mode, and uh, hopefully the volume isn't too bad. Uh, so it, it's really short, and it just shows the new like Miami map and how there's zombies that are going to spawn in the um, in the multiplayer maps. And I think the idea, which I'm hoping they they um, are going to use the idea, is to kind of bunker down, make it like bunker defense, where you can. Um, I'll play one more time. Buffy Defense, where you can kind of maybe set up like sentry guns. Uh, I thought maybe traps, but I don't know if there's any uh, traps that you can move around or, or whatever. Um, but I, when I first played the, I, like I said, the demo or prototype, it basically I was hoping kind of make it like a throwback to Nocturne and Tone. Ironically, Noct is also in the, um, the main zombies mode. But the idea, uh, I know it's really a really short uh, clip, but the idea I, I thought would be kind of cool is like um, maybe you pick like a house or location that you want to bucket down. I know it's going to have moving zones, which is kind of cool, but uh, I feel like sentry guns, I don't know what else. Um, I know you can probably call them like chopper gunners and helicopters to help you out. Kind of like the survival mode in Modern Warfare. Uh, so that's kind of the idea of uh, the mode it looks like it's gonna be short little um, more and it, the idea like I said also about like Nocturne and Toten or maybe Bus Depot and Transit being the inspiration for something like this I know obviously uh, survival in Modern Warfare 3 is gonna be the main um, grandfather of modes like this because it's pretty much that's what it was like a bunker mode where you you, you set up sentry guns, you can call in AC-130s and stuff like that, uh, and it was really fun. So that's kind of the idea, um, the, the first, first idea of it, but they did something similar in Black Ops 4, and you can still try it out if you want to, it's still in the game. Um, I'm hoping they don't remove it, I don't think it'll be possible for them to remove it, but if you go to the Spec Ops headquarters, that always happens in... I could probably shut it off because it's probably going to happen a bunch of times. Um, so if you go to the Spec Ops, not Spec Ops, the Specialist Headquarters, if you go to specifically, if you can see my mouse, Recon, I have it highlighted, but if you don't notice that I have it highlighted, uh, the Recon Specialist um, Tutorial, it has this mode in there, and this is where the idea when I played it came from. Uh, like I said, you can consider it maybe a demo, a prototype. Uh, prototype probably being the more technical term uh, than a demo. So before I show you the video and, and the actual uh, gameplay for the demo, uh, just in case you haven't done Spec Ops, I don't know if you have to do any of them before this, but if you just if you're about if you're allowed to or um, if it's available, Recon, it would be the one that you would choose. You do uh, you play the tutorial. And the tutorial teaches you how to use the specialist items, the vision pulse, or the sensor dart. And in this mode, I don't know why Recon, if he is tied into zombies somehow, um, if maybe his character uh, relates to maybe some of the, the characters in the new Cold War zombies. Maybe that's an Easter egg or something in its source, but... At this point, it's just kind of like a, a guess or a speculation why Recon himself would be the only one with zombies in his tutorial. Uh, like I said, if you still have Black Ops 4, which you should because it, it's not as bad as people 
uh, make it out to be. I just understand, and I, I totally know it's streamers and YouTubers. It was the difficulty level in Black Ops 4 was set pretty high, and the average YouTuber streamer can't handle uh, some of the modes if it's set too high. Um, just it makes them look bad, and that's the truth behind it. People don't like it. I, you know, I'm not gonna lie either. It's I don't like it being difficult, but it it, it is challenging. It's pretty cool that it's it's challenging and uh, it makes you get better and stuff like that. Of course, everybody wants everything to be easy. Uh, I would be lying if if I said that, you know, I don't want everything easy, but um, it challenges you too. And you can kind of like brag to your friends, you know, it, may, it means more when you complete something or get further in a difficult thing than if you got to like level 100 or round 100 and something really easy. It doesn't, doesn't make sense. So uh, that's kind of the truth why people didn't like Black Ops 4. But if you still have it in, installed on your Xbox or PlayStation, uh, like I said, again, go to the uh, specialist headquarters, pick recon, pick the tutorial. It's going to teach you how to do these. And when you get to the last part of his tutorial, I'm just going to let it play because it's about a four-minute um, four video. In the last oh, part, man, it's teaching you how to use the, um, the vision the pulse and the, the sensor dart. Close. So uh, I don't know if you can hear sound, six. but if you can't... Uh, it's saying that they hear noise and there's something Little coming, they don't know what's company. coming. It, it's right kind of almost like, uh, pretty cool, like almost a climactic scene in a way. Because oh this my. is like the last stage or the Look last part of the tutorial. Uh, and at this point you're on your own to use the sensor dart. And the pulse how you want to. Uh, and then like I said, as far as it being uh, the prototype, you do call in a... Uh, it's not a chopper gunner, but a sniper. Uh, a sniper helicopter, sniper's nest, I guess they call it in the game. So first, you start off fighting a blight father, and it's pretty easy if you stay away from him because obviously he can shoot at you, but he's more deadly if uh, and he kills. And these are just AI players that the tutorial gives you. I think he can pretty much wipes out most of them. Maybe you can't even kill him until he wipes out. Oh wait, no, so I was wrong. Like I thought maybe you can't even kill him until he wipes out your team. Because I think the whole idea is to have you playing by yourself, and it gets more challenging. Um, so anyways, I do the vision pulse. I don't think you can spot zombies, so... Unless I'm crazy. But uh, I don't think you're able to spot zombies. So at this point, the first wave, which the Bly Father should probably have been the last yeah, so stage of this. Um, so now it's asking you to gain a thousand points. Uh, so you can call in a sniper's nest, and uh, all the zombies are just standing still. And again, like I said, if you're interested in any of this, this is where the idea came from. Because uh, I remember playing it, and the, the truth is too, I mean, if anybody ends up watching this or watching, watched it to the end. If you're nice to people, you know, people are generally nice back to you. I, I asked them, I said, why can't we have this as a mode? It's really fun. Um, it's kind of like the bunker defense, like I said, where you kind of would set up uh, sentry guns, uh, I don't know what else in multiplayer. Uh, well, there's no juggernaut in, in Black Ops world, so I don't know what... Um, and it's going to be a little bit more difficult, because when you play the Modern Warfare Survival, if you pretty much all your teammates get juggernaut suits, uh, the mode is pretty easy. Uh, the mode is actually really easy. I was just telling somebody on Twitter, I played it for the first time, uh, the Modern Warfare Survival mode, and it's it's actually too easy. I was getting, I made it to 51, and I was getting kind of tired of seeing me around 30, around 30 and 40, but because I was playing with um, random people in the lobby, I was just thinking, I'm like, I don't want to. Back out. Uh, so I ended up getting to like maybe 51 or 53. But just in case, if you didn't notice, I called in the sniper's nest, um, and I'm just running around. They do give you obviously a ray gun. Um, you can do your vision pulse. You can do the sensor dart, and you get unlimited stim shots, which is obviously going to be different because in modern warfare you have to choose the stim shot or flashbang or something like that. Uh, but right probably stim shot might be the best purpose. bet, uh, and that's pretty much the, that little demo prototype uh, or tutorial, I guess.
you can call it, where you just, um, I mean, it's a little bit longer, but this is just the zombie part, the zombies come towards the end, the Blight Father and stuff like that, and then you get to call in, um, pick up your trash. A, uh, a sniper's nest. Again, like I said, unfortunately, I already started reading some comments on Twitter. It's like people don't even know this exists, and they're already commenting that they hate it. But I understand that's what Twitter is all about. Um, and even the YouTube comment section, you know, it's either people that, you know, aren't good at the games, or it's people that uh, are just miserable having a bad day, or they just look for attention. They just go and make the most hateful comments about stuff they have no idea about or no knowledge about, and then they they just uh, look for it to gain attention because, uh, you know, they don't have any friends or whatever the situation is, which I guess I can't blame them because if I didn't have friends or worried about that stuff, then I'd probably be a miserable person too. Uh, or it's just other people that have other reasons to kind of hate on stuff. But it's actually really fun if you want to try it. Like I said, just hopefully you still have... Mon uh, Black Ops 4 is still installed. If not, um, you can reinstall it if you want to give it a shot. It is really fun, like I said. Um, and that's pretty much it. I'll see you guys later.